from everybody who commented, who was on this plane, who took video and posted it to Facebook. I'm going to show you just a little bit about what it looked like inside. This is not your typical 747. These planes are chartered planes. They can carry cargo. They can be configured in many, many different ways. You can see here, this is a video taken from inside the aircraft. You'll see more of this in just a moment. I want to call your attention to this box right here. That's an isolation box for anybody who had elevated temperatures who may have had coronavirus on the plane. They were put in that box. And you can see the flight attendants, the air crew. Well, not exactly like your typical air crew. They were all decked out in biohazard suits. Hundreds of passengers from the cruise ship that had coronavirus. Uh, now the, all the Americans that are, were on that ship are on these planes, more than 300 Americans coming back to U.S. soil. And I got to tell you, it was a harrowing journey for these folks. Two charter flights brought the Americans home. This one landing at Joint Base Lackland. We watched as personnel and masks and medical gear helped passengers off the chartered 747. At least one passenger was in a wheelchair. The trip home taking more than 10 hours in the air and many more hours just getting off the ship. Okay, oh, that's a little strange. Two passengers, Cheryl and Paul Molesky from New York, recorded the journey from the Diamond Princess back to the U.S. More than 300 Americans were stuck in their cabins on the ship. From the cruise ship, the American passengers boarded buses. Good, welcome Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for the delay. From there, the passengers were taken to an airport. After nearly two weeks of waiting and worry, they were finally on their way home. Pretty miserable wearing these masks, though. And Everybody had to go to the bathroom on the bus. But what five, about you? Five, five hours on the bus waiting to get off the bus. Oh, crazy, crazy. This video is from inside the plane that landed at Joint Base Travis. The plane has an isolation ward for those with high temperatures. The flight crew decked out in biohazard suits, taking no chances. This passenger says one of his colleagues is now under quarantine as a suspected case of coronavirus. So this was the passenger you just heard from. I want to let you know what he said again. He said that his colleague's temperature was high. He was put in isolation. The hope wouldn't be that bad. But I want to show you those isolation rooms. This guy got a very good picture of what they look like. You see it right here. Again, these are planes that are commissioned from, uh, from the uh, military to take cargo or troops all over the world. It can be configured in lots of different ways. Look, there are no areas here for overhead bins, nothing like that. This is stripped down. I've been in some of these planes before. It's an OK ride, not necessarily the most comfortable, but also you see not a lot of windows, not a lot of creature comforts on this flight. But these Americans are home. All of the Americans who are on these planes are going to be quarantined for 14 days.